Why are we talking about Bigfoot? <laughs> Tell you why. Because we're outside a lot and we had some weird experiences. That's why. Let me tell you a little story about our Native American legends. We had something called stone giants or flint coats that supposedly were like eating and stealing people. And then like the Native Americans like beat them off. That is like a legend from the Iroquois nations and I believe some of the other ones. I'm not here to convince you. I'm just telling you what I know about it and what we've experienced like just over the summer. And personally, I had another experience before I met him a few years ago. What like, happened? Right after I got my dog, I was hiking in Harriman State Park in the southern part of the park, which there's also been other people that have claimed to have sightings or experiences there. I was going blueberry pecking in this one spot there. Uh, it's kind of like a remote area of the park and he was really on edge. He was really antsy. He won't stop barking. He's pulling, he's pulling and I'm like, no, like I want to pick these blueberries. They drove all the way up here and hiked all the way out like I'm picking berries. And there was no other people around. Um, and you can see like he's always behind my back. He's always on the lookout. Like he is my guard dog. Like mm -hmm. he, when he sleeps, he sleeps right in front of the door of the tent. He'll sit behind me. <laughs> And, you know, he, he's protective. So, all of a sudden, I hear this, uh, while I'm picking berries, I hear this uh, scream that was so loud. And it was like a weird, um, like, incomprehensible, like, but it was like so loud. And I'm like, is there a crazy man in the woods? And he froze, his tail went up, his hackles went up and he was just pulling me out of there i'm like all right fuck this like mm -hmm. i believe i know that there's crazy people and i also believe in supernatural things and i respect that i'm not welcome in certain places i was out we ran out of that place we didn't see any other people uh it was like four miles out back to my jeep and we just took out took off i was like screw this he was pulling the whole time and on the way out i found three blue jay feathers in a line on the trail like there was only one way out like back to my jeep it was like kind of like pointing the way out yeah and i was like oh my gosh i never went back to the section of the park and what i heard it was like something that when you hear it you're like i don't know what that is it wasn't words, it wasn't any language that I know, and it was so loud and angry. I was just like. <laughs> you, felt, you felt the intent. Yeah. According to our native legends, these things are not like, they're not just a gorilla or something. They're something supernatural. They can be very dangerous, and they are known to take, especially women and children, while they're berry picking, while they're foraging, because that is traditionally what women did. Men went out to hunt and women grew the food and picked the berries and made the moccasins. Like when the women were out unguarded, that's what would happen. It's, it's not so much a belief thing as it is a knowledge and an experience thing. Like, yeah. you fill out a job application, you got two sections on every one. You've got your education, which we've all been given, we've told how things are. By the government, like, oh, they would never lie to us. <laughs> and then you got your experience section, and if you don't have the experience, then you don't get the job. Yeah. And that's, that's basically where we're at with this. We've got all these people having experiences, yeah. and then we've got our education, what we've been told is real and what's happening. So we're in one of the most urbanized, populated states in the country. Actually the number one. We're hiking a trail around this lake. We just filmed the knife giveaway video. And just check this out. We're in West Milford, New Jersey. And New Jersey is the number one most densely populated state in the United States of America. And you see all this, all these trees. This goes for miles. It's fall, like the leaves have fallen, but 
looking into the brush, I mean, I can see into the brush, you know, 50 yards before everything is obscured and it's just shapes and shadows. Now, when you consider that, how, how thick that brush is, all, all of that wilderness in the most urbanized, populated state in the country, and that goes all the way up into New York. All yes, the, the trails here connect to upstate New York. You can walk all the way to the Adirondacks pretty much. It goes all the way down to the Pine Barrens, which is a huge wilderness area. The state is really densely populated, but a lot of these trails are not highly trafficked and definitely not a lot of bushwhackers or um, maybe during hunting season people are out, but uh, I think it would be fairly easy to move hide. around. I concealed. mean, think about, you know, people hike their whole life. They never see a bobcat, you know, they never, you know, they never see like mountain lions. Like they say they're extinct in the Northeast. They're not, you know, so that's part of their their protective instinct is to hide and i mean don't a lot of people come to the woods to hide from other people <laughs> what are we getting at here it would be very easy for a big foot to hide and you wouldn't know about it that's what we're getting at <laughs> the brain box on the thing that i saw was freaking huge it was the size of a basketball they're smart Animals know when when there's danger, they're in tune with their environment. Like, they're aware of each other. And they know they don't want to be eaten. So, when you consider that, don't you think it'd be possible that there's a creature that's intelligent to stay away from a lumbering human in the woods if it didn't want to be seen? And also, if it didn't like you, don't you think it would scare you and like tell you to? Territorial pissings. <laughs> and I think about too, like I've been on thousands of hikes and I've only seen a bear three times. I grew up in Northwest Pennsylvania, been in the woods my whole life. I've seen a bear in PA one time from a distance. And you the biggest teddy bear. Attention whore. Attention whore. <laughs> this change change topic. This is all about him now. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's what you want to know. That's the frisky dingo. <laughs> I think I could stay away from, from people out in the woods if I didn't want to be seen. And you're you're out you're out in the woods and you're in tune with your environment. You hear things, you hear you hear movement approaching. And I mean, if you're covered in a furry camel ghillie suit, just naturally, I mean. How hard is it gonna be? <laughs> Since we released our two Bigfoot videos, we had an encounter in Morgan Hill, and then we talked about our encounter in the Catskills recently. The comments have been a mixed bag. Um, by and large, they've been really positive. People reporting their experiences and offering encouragement. There was a lot of people that were like, whoa, the same thing happened. There was one person uh, that had literally like the same exact experience where they saw like... Um, the guy is in Ohio, b and He's got a trapping channel, awesome trapping channel. He does a lot of really good stuff. Um, but he just talked about his Bigfoot experience. I'll leave a link for it in the description. But yeah, he saw like something that he thought was like a root or like a uprooted tree or something. And then it wasn't. And he was just like, oh my God, like staring at this face, staring world. back at like, him. <laughs> you know, it's like your mind tries to project what it thinks it is. And then it just is not. And you're just like, <laughs> mm -hmm. the bottom drops out. Yeah, like, I will never forget his face when he came back to my Jeep and he was like... <laughs> it was freaky. No, it wasn't like that. It was more like... <laughs> and he kept asking me if I was okay. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Dog says it's time to go.
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.